Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I spent hundreds of dollars on food from Etsy. When you think of Etsy, you think of homemade crafts, like knitted vests or maybe this thing. Turns out they also have endless cuisine. So much food. Just random strangers in their kitchens whipping up dishes and putting them in envelopes and sending them straight to your home. People could be doing some messed up stuff to this food, but I'm still excited to try all of this. It's gonna be fun. Homemade baked mac and cheese frozen food for birthday party. I had to add one of these to my cart. This was $43, which does include shipping. I mean, just look at these photos. Yes, daddy. It got mailed all the way from Massachusetts. When I opened the box, it did have like a little ice gel pack on it, but it was already melted by the time I opened it. And like the actual macaroni was kind of room temperature, but I just put it into my freezer and I'm sure it's fine. It's fine, right? Not going to lie, best mac and cheese I've ever had. I am so ready. I popped this bad boy into the oven and it's still really frozen. So I feel like it's gonna take like another hour, but if you keep watching to the end of the video, we're gonna try the mac and cheese. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. Flaming Hot Cheeto Cookies, $45. I got a dozen, I think, so that's $3.75 a cookie. They're from Alaska. Spicy, sweet, and soft. What a yummy combo. To bake your dreams crumb true. You open it up and it looks like an oven. And there's your cookies. Pop off Molly, she did that. In professional wrapping. When I thought of Etsy food, I thought this would just be in a Ziploc bag. These have been featured in the Oscars gifting suite. Jennifer Lawrence has probably eaten one of these. It's so good. Wow. I feel like I didn't get a bite with very much Cheeto dust though. See that Cheeto dust on top? Actually, I'm getting a little bit of spice. I stand. It just works. Here you go. Thank you. I always share with my cameraman who I found off Craigslist. Molly, you're doing it. And keep doing it, please. Keep on it. Fresh made to order pepperoni rolls. $32 from Pennsylvania. Our pepperoni rolls are not like most. We are different. We bake them full of pepperoni. We never skimp out on what really makes a pepperoni roll a pepperoni roll. The pepperoni, of course. These are gonna be stacked with pepperoni. This is it. I found something I've been trying to find for over 10 years. If I even feel a fraction of the happiness that reviewer was filled with, this is gonna be a purchase that was worth it. I'll heat up like two. Saving a rest for later when I get the munchies. Mm -hmm. Yes, savvy. Just look at the pepperoni spilling out. I'm guessing put them in for like 30 seconds. This is good. This is like homemade dough then, right? I feel like I'm not getting much mozzarella, but it is really good. These definitely need to be dipped in like a marinara. I'm a dip person. I always need dip. You know, always gotta be dipping. Mm. Oh, uh, just look at that grease glistening. So simple, but it hits. As a world-renowned food critic, I would suggest adding more mozzarella. Just my opinion. Milk chocolate hoop gag gift. 20 bucks from New Jersey. Probably made by Snooki herself. <laughs> She's the only person who lives in New Jersey. A great gag gift. No one expects to open box and find poop. That's true. Okay, what did you get me? What? Oh, you are a goof. The attention to detail. Ah. Mmm, pure chocolate. There's so many opportunities to make a business nowadays. Like somebody out there is making money off making that people eat, you know? They're probably gonna be able to buy a Rolls Royce from this. I make edible poop online, and now I'm a billionaire. Stay broke, honey. Homemade old-fashioned Irish potato candy. Coming all the way from Ohio for $20. I had to get this because something about this photo, so satisfying. When you see this photo, you just wanna push on it. You wanna stick your fingers and you wanna ingest it. You need it in your body. My husband's grandmother swears that this candy is exactly what she remembers from her childhood growing up in an Irish American home. This took me back. It tasted like my Nana. Maybe they meant like it tasted like the one she made. Or maybe it tastes like their grandma, I don't know. I think I'm actually half Irish, so let's see if I half like this. Oh, are you kidding me? I saw that photo and now I have it. I love peanut butter and that's the main ingredient in this. Potato, peanut butter, and powdered sugar. For some reason I was picturing it to literally taste like a baked potato or something. You don't even really notice that there's potato. It just tastes like a good peanut butter candy, you know? I may be half Irish, but I don't half like it. I fully like it. Thanks, Etsy. Fresh made Japanese milk toast loaf bread fluffy soft. Cost me 65 bucks. $45 of that was shipping from Oregon. Maybe since it's bread, they did really fragile shipping or something, I don't know. The videos on the Etsy page were awe-inspiring. I wanna make love to that loaf. It is so delicious. I eat it plain, like a piece of cake. Oh. 
I know y'all at home right now are gagged. They wrote in the description that it's really good with butter and jam, but I'm gonna try it plain first. It tastes like a really good dinner roll. Since that person reviewed saying they eat it plain and it tastes like cake, I was expecting like a sweet taste, but it just tastes like bread, but just really, really good bread. So soft, plush, just the beauty of it. Homemade kiffles, $39 from Ohio. These are a Hungarian treat and the reviews claim they taste very authentic. Super service, an excellent item. And they actually put that as a one-star review, but I don't know if they know how the ranking system works, but that kind of sucks for the Etsy shop. Like they left a positive review, but a one star rating, but okay. I'm stressed for the shop. <coughs> this tastes like something I've had before. It's really good. <coughs> yeah, these are like a cannoli type shape. I have to see what this one is. Tuna. <laughs> Maybe it's tuna. Mm, it is tuna. It's not tuna. He's joking. What a funny guy. It tastes like Captain Crunch cereal. Great. I might have gone my whole life without trying Hungarian kiffles if it wasn't for Etsy. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Man candy, candy for men. Yes, I'm filming this in a different setup because this one got lost in the mail and we had to send me a new one. <laughs> $23 from Illinois. OMG, my husband and I couldn't stop eating this. I will be ordering more. A man better have sent that. That better be two husbands eating that man candy. It better not have been a wife. This is man candy, sis. Chicks aren't allowed. Oh my God, it smells so good. I think it's literally just bacon covered in brown sugar. Okay, yes. Man candy, sis. This is good. What? I mean, it's literally just bacon and brown sugar, but like I'm living. I'm a man. I feel like such a man right now. I'm gonna be munching on this all the time. Like the male I am. Yeah. Gourmet brownie box, $28 from sunny California. I ordered a half dozen of slutty brownies. I don't know what's gonna make these brownies promiscuous, but I'm excited. These are amazing. I'm supposed to be saving them, but after eating one, I'm just not. Mmm, eat them up, Melissa. These s'more ones. I gotta try these ones first. I kinda wanna start an Etsy food business now. Like just make like ramen noodles, like just out of the instant pack and ship them in um, Tupperware containers or something. <laughs> Immaculate. Mmm, it's giving. Very slutty. Got an Oreo shoved in there. So much to take in. The brownie, the Oreo, the cookie. I feel overwhelmed, but in a good way. This is just the typical brownie, you know? I shouldn't have ended with this one, you know? Just the basic brownie. So obviously it's gonna pale in comparison. Freeze dried fruit roll up. 10 bucks from Arizona. These are absolutely amazing. Oh, the crunch. These are literally just store-bought fruit roll-ups that have been freeze-dried. Part of me is thinking we should just freeze-dry everything. Like, why not make everything crunchy? Oh, I just stuck in my teeth. Take my $10, Snopes. Take it all. Just take all my money. Here. Have it. Look what's done. Oh. How many people do you think have taken this out while their whole family's over and pretended they're the ones who made it? Done, guys. I've been working on it all day. Don't believe anyone anymore, guys. They're just buying it all from Etsy. This is the item I was most excited about. I've been dreaming of this since I ordered it. This is gooey. Oh, that is wet. Like you wouldn't think it'd be this juicy after being shipped across the country and frozen and reheated. I'm pretty sure it tastes like Chick-fil-A macaroni. This might be a dupe, a way more expensive dupe. Here you go. It's like Stouffel's mac and cheese, but even butter. You know what? The title said to bring this to a birthday party. I'm gonna eat half of this probably. And then I'm just gonna walk around my town until I find, stumble into a birthday party and I'm gonna force everyone to eat this. That's what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. Thank you guys for watching. Etsy has food. Maybe some of you guys knew this already. I mean, obviously people know because these products all have reviews, but I was unaware. Is there anywhere else I can buy food online that that I should try for a video? Like, is there wish.com food? Is there Shein food? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.